Recognizing the Healer Within, the Unseen Gifts of Spiritual Healing. Welcome, dear friends, to a profound exploration of a truth that might stir the depths of your soul, the signs that reveal you might actually be a spiritual healer. This is not merely about recognizing a potential within, it's about affirming a reality that might already be manifesting through you in subtle, yet profound ways. Through this discourse, we will unfold the layers that might have concealed this truth, helping you to see with clarity and embrace with courage the healer you are meant to be. In our first segment, let's reflect on the essence of what makes a spiritual healer. At its core, spiritual healing is about channeling an energy that transcends our physical limits, touching lives, mending hearts, and sometimes, altering courses without even a whisper of recognition. You, who might find yourself inexplicably drawn to the aid of others, could be a vessel of this unseen force. Have you ever noticed moments in your life when you felt compelled to comfort someone, even if it meant just being there, offering a silent presence that somehow brought peace? Now let's explore this further. One profound sign of a spiritual healer is the natural inclination to alleviate the suffering of others. This isn't about grand gestures. Rather, it's about those small acts of kindness, offering a listening ear, a comforting smile, or a gentle touch that seem to lessen the burden others carry. Think about how often people turn to you in times of distress. Is it coincidence or could it be that your energy resonates with healing? Moving deeper, consider the sensitivity you might bear towards the environment and the emotions of the people around you. This heightened empathy is not merely a personality trait. It is a tool, a gift of the spirit that allows you to perceive beyond the scene, to feel the stirrings of the soul that others might miss. How often do you find yourself affected by the moods and energies of places or people? This could be your inner healer sensing the imbalance that seeks restoration. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. Furthermore, spiritual healers often experience a sense of being guided by a force greater than themselves. This could manifest as intuition, a deep knowing that doesn't rely on logical reasoning but is just as accurate, if not more. Have you ever had moments when you knew something was amiss with someone, even before they said a word? That's your intuitive healing power speaking. It's an inner voice, urging you to act, to heal, to restore. Let us also consider your journey through personal challenges. Often, those called to heal carry their own wounds, and it is through navigating their pain that they acquire the wisdom and strength to assist others in their healing journeys. Reflect on your past hardships. How have these experiences shaped your ability to empathize and connect with others on a profound level? Your trials might have been preparing you for this sacred role all along. As we conclude this first part, I invite you to sit with the realizations that may have surfaced. Do these signs resonate with you? Do they paint a picture of who you are and perhaps unveil a path you are destined to walk? The journey of a healer is sacred, marked by both trials and triumphs. If you see yourself in these words, perhaps it's time to accept and nurture the healer within. The energy we channel understanding the flow of healing. As we proceed further into our exploration of what it means to be a spiritual healer, we delve into the nuances of the energy that healers channel. This energy, often unseen but profoundly felt, is the essence through which healing transpires. It's vital to understand not only its presence but also how you, as a potential healer, interact with this energy daily. Firstly, consider the concept of energy itself in the context of healing. Energy in spiritual terms refers to the life force that pervades everything. As a spiritual healer, 
Your ability to sense, manipulate, and channel this energy is crucial. You might find yourself naturally tuning into the energies around you, feeling them as distinctly as you feel the wind on your skin. This sensitivity can be overwhelming but also a powerful tool for healing. How do you react to being in crowded places? Do you feel drained or perhaps invigorated? Your response to these energies is a significant indicator of how you are affected by and can affect the energies around you. Moving on, let's focus on the purity of intention in the healing process. Intention is the directed will to effect change or bring healing. It is not merely wishing someone well, it is a focused, directed energy toward the betterment of another. As a healer, your intentions must be clear and pure. Any underlying desires for personal gain or recognition can cloud this intention thus diluting the effectiveness of the healing energy. Have you ever noticed how your intentions affect your ability to help others? When your heart is truly in the right place, the flow of energy is stronger and more profound. Moreover, spiritual healers often find that their own healing abilities improve as they develop a deeper connection with the source of their spiritual power, be it nature, divine beings, or the universe itself. This connection is nurtured through practices like meditation, prayer, or other spiritual disciplines. These practices help to refine your energy and align it more closely with the healing forces. How often do you engage in activities that connect you with your spiritual source? This connection is essential for maintaining the flow and purity of healing energy. Additionally, the manifestation of physical symptoms in a healer's body can also be a sign of their connection to this healing energy. Sometimes, healers absorb the ailments or distress of those they help, experiencing symptoms as if they were their own. This phenomenon, often referred to as taking on someone's pain, is a powerful testament to the healer's deep, empathetic connection. However, it also underscores the importance of grounding and cleansing rituals to release these energies that are not your own. Do you find yourself feeling unexplained physical or emotional symptoms after interacting with others? Recognizing and managing this transfer of energy is crucial for your well-being and effectiveness as a healer. Lastly, the journey of a spiritual healer is often marked by synchronicities those seemingly coincidental events that occur, directing your path or confirming your intuitions. These are not mere coincidences, but are often signs that your healing path is aligned with the greater movements of the universe. Reflect on the times when just the right person or opportunity appeared in your life at just the right moment. How did you feel? Were these instances of guidance that helped you grow in your role as a healer? As this part of our discussion concludes, take a moment to reflect on these aspects. The interaction with energy, the purity of your intentions, your spiritual connections, the physical and emotional manifestations of your healing work, and the synchronicities you experience. Each of these elements paints a deeper picture of the spiritual healer's journey. Recognizing and understanding these can significantly enhance your capacity to heal and be healed. The Inner Landscape – Emotional and Spiritual Resilience and Healing As we tread deeper into the essence of being a spiritual healer, we must turn our attention inward to the emotional and spiritual resilience that this path demands. Healing others isn't merely about the energy we channel or the intentions we set. It's also profoundly about our own inner strength and stability. This resilience is what sustains healers through the challenges and emotional demands of their work. One of the most significant aspects of a healer's resilience is their capacity to remain emotionally balanced amidst turmoil. As a healer, you often encounter individuals in distress, and their emotional and physical pain can be intense and overwhelming. How do you maintain your equilibrium when faced with such deep suffering? 
The ability to stay grounded and calm in these situations is a crucial skill developed through self-awareness and emotional management techniques. Meditation, reflective journaling, and mindful breathing are tools that can help maintain this balance. Consider how you incorporate these or similar practices into your daily routine to fortify your emotional resilience. Another key element in the emotional landscape of a healer is the ability to detach with love. Detachment does not mean you care less. Rather, it signifies an understanding that while you can guide and support, you cannot walk the path for others. This understanding prevents emotional burnout and allows you to serve as a stable beacon for those in need. Reflect on times when you had to step back and allow others to experience their journey, despite your desire to take away their pain. How did you handle these moments? The wisdom to know when to hold on and when to let go is a testament to your maturity as a healer. Furthermore, spiritual healers often face their own shadows, personal fears, doubts, and unresolved issues that surface as they help others heal. This shadow work is essential, for it is in confronting and integrating these darker aspects of ourselves that we find true healing and wholeness. Have you recognized patterns in your life where your personal challenges have mirrored those of the people you are helping? This is not coincidence. It is an invitation for mutual healing and growth. In addition to facing personal shadows, spiritual resilience in healers is also nurtured through the development of a profound trust in the universe. This trust reassures us that we are supported and guided even when the path seems uncertain. Building this trust often involves a leap of faith, a surrender to the journey, irrespective of the immediate visibility of the path ahead. How often do you find yourself able to surrender? to truly trust in the flow of life and the healing process. Lastly, the community plays a pivotal role in bolstering a healer's resilience. No healer works in isolation effectively. The support, wisdom, and camaraderie of fellow healers and spiritually inclined friends provide strength and perspective that are invaluable. Reflect on your relationships with those who share your spiritual path. How do these connections support your growth and resilience? As we conclude this segment, take a moment to reflect on the inner landscape we've traversed. Your emotional balance, ability to detach with love, willingness to confront personal shadows, trust in the universe and your supportive community are all facets that fortify you as a healer. Each is crucial not just in enhancing your ability to heal others, but in maintaining your well-being and joy in your healing work. The Path of Continuous Growth, Lifelong Learning and Self-Transformation In our ongoing journey to understand the essence of a spiritual healer, we now explore the vital role of continuous personal growth and self-transformation. This aspect of being a healer is not merely beneficial, it is essential. A healer who ceases to grow soon finds their ability to help others stagnate. The path of a healer is, inherently, a path of endless learning and profound personal evolution. One core aspect of continuous growth is the commitment to lifelong learning. This learning can take many forms, from formal education in healing techniques and spiritual practices to the informal learning that occurs through interactions with others and personal experiences. How often do you seek out new knowledge? Are you open to learning from sources that challenge your existing beliefs and expand your perspectives? The most effective healers are those who remain students of life, forever curious and eager to expand their understanding of the human condition and the mysteries of the universe. Moreover, personal transformation is a constant in the life of a healer. Each healing encounter holds a mirror to your own soul, reflecting not only your strengths, but also areas that require growth and healing. This reflection demands courage, the courage to face yourself honestly 
and embrace the need for change. Have you experienced moments when helping someone else led to a personal revelation or transformation within you? These moments are precious, offering profound insights that foster both personal and spiritual growth. In addition, adaptability is a crucial trait for a healer. The world is ever-changing, and so are the needs of those you aim to help. Being adaptable in your methods and approaches ensures that your healing practices remain effective and relevant. This might mean integrating new healing modalities into your practice, adjusting your approach based on the feedback and results you observe, or simply being flexible in your expectations and plans. Reflect on how you have adapted your healing practices over time. What prompted these changes, and how have they influenced your effectiveness as a healer? Another significant component of a healer's growth is the practice of self-reflection and introspection. This practice helps you to stay aligned with your core values and ensures that your actions and intentions remain pure. It also serves as a check against the ego, which can subtly influence even the most well-intentioned healer. How regularly do you engage in self-reflection? Do you set aside quiet time to meditate on your day, your interactions, and your feelings? This discipline is crucial for maintaining the integrity and purity of your healing mission. Lastly, the journey of a spiritual healer is enriched by sharing and teaching others. Teaching is not only an act of giving, but also a powerful tool for deepening your own understanding and mastery of healing practices. Each time you teach a concept or practice, you are challenged to look at it anew, to clarify and refine your understanding. Have you had opportunities to teach or mentor others in your spiritual or healing journey? How has this role influenced your personal growth and deepened your own practices? As we approach the conclusion of this segment, consider how each aspect of continuous growth, lifelong learning, personal transformation, adaptability, self-reflection, and teaching plays a role in your development as a healer. The path of healing is as much about transforming others as it is about continually transforming oneself. Embrace this path with humility and passion for it is through growth that we truly fulfill our potential as healers.